fuck with us Well, we post it every Friday every See Friday. them corner emojis, then you know a nigga wild I'm a jaded Gemini Tip. Um, going viral And I've seen one of them But apparently there's more Yikes And, uh Is this on Zeus? Probably, I don't know But I'm just gonna let the clip speak for itself Hopefully this shit wasn't on real cable Because from what I heard Hopefully not you gonna get this shit and if this is up, staged, because you know a lot of these shows be staged, bro. I just want to throw this out here. Who the fuck is writing this shit? No, seriously. Like, who what wrote are you this? Doing, if this dude? is staged, who wrote this? What are you doing? Because that's a good point. I just had to give up maybe some some little revenue to just ask that question just like that. Because I really want to know. And how do I get in all right? And if it's... <laughs> just gotta be, <laughs> yep, just be raunchy and uh, press buttons. Roger that, sir. Period. Why did she say period? Because they somebody said something and she just you know. Why did she say? She period? wanted to agree wholeheartedly, real quick. Period. That's gonna be like the new, you know, what I'm saying the little snippet clip. That's gonna be one of them. Rest in peace, Betty White. Help. What? Rest in peace, Betty White. I really Run it back one more time. Rest in peace, Betty White. Period. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> the first time I really felt what you're, what you're passionate about was when I was with my... What you're passionate about? Maybe he does sir, like anti-racism. Sir, nah, look. This is where the disconnect is. I'm passionate about paint, painting mm -hmm. and artwork. I'm passionate about animals. Like... But I'm, I'm, just, I'm just like, bruh, what the fuck? Like, do you see the disconnect that I'm getting to? Like, I'm just baffled let's right see, now. Let's see what made him passionate. Like, I'm then, just so then... baffled that, like, <laughs> not don't... being racist has to be just this passionate thing. Like, I don't know, bruh. Shit, sometimes, remember we talked about sometimes uh, being a product of your environment and running into something so fucking bad that you just want to be the exact opposite of that? Maybe that's what he meant. If that's what you mean. This dude. What you're passionate Bad about hat. was when I was with my friend John and I went to a pizza place, right? And they called him a You should have said a different name because that <laughs> I feel like that when you say your friend John, who wrote that shit? Keep, keep not keep, let it run because we we got a bad habit. Just let's just get this shit I out. I know, of here. babe, but you don't want to get copyrighted, so I'm trying to have breaks. Okay, fair enough. We gotta let it breathe. Oh wow. Well, fuck it. Can you just run it back five seconds then? Yeah. Since since that's what we're after, let me just hear it one more time. Just make sure I ain't tripping. Great job. And I went to a pizza place, right? And they called me. Bro, why didn't you just say they called them the N word? N word. Who you been watching that and then, channel five? For and then, <laughs> and then you did. You said the E R, bro. He said the whole thing. You said it hard. He acted like he on the History in. Channel. That's what I'm saying. But, is this a real world reunion show? I'm guessing. Or is this the History Channel? This is a mess. <laughs> Yeah, you need it. Yeah. That. You gotta let that shit breathe. Nobody was about to say nothing, bro. Bro, they don't want to get like, canceled. Yo, they don't want to say shit. They're like, what nah, the hell? nah, G. See, you're only supposed to say that when you by yourself, G. That's what she looking like. She's looking like, <laughs> why would you? <laughs> you're only supposed to say that in your car. Listen to the future, bro. She said, you don't say it. Bro with the cowboy hat is always... Has always had that look of disappointment. I remember, bro. He was all. Remember when they yeah. pulled the sheets off of old girl? He was just like, Yeah, he pulled. They pulled the sheets off of Tammy. If nah, y'all don't know what we're talking, dude. If y'all don't know what we're talking about, go look up the old on the MTV Vault channel. They have the OG Real World episodes with Tammy and shit. Um, go look it up. Yeah, one of them like pulled the blanket off of her when she didn't have no clothes on and you're right dude the cowboy hat was like oh he no he always just that's not right bro yeah and they made dude leave the house they were, she was like if you don't leave the house I'm not gonna feel comfortable I'm gonna leave and he left why would you do that I think his ass is sitting on the couch too 
Nah, future songs. They, Look, they, isn't that him? Yeah. The one that pulled the blanket Whoa, off of her? Oh, they invited that Yeah, nigga? that's him that pulled the blanket off of her. Whoa, they need to put an ankle monitor on his ass, bro. Mm-hmm. And a body cam. Was when I was with my friend John, and I went to a pizza place, right? And they called him a... They all are like, are you stupid? Look, damn, bro. Why do they think, you know what my least favorite take is? Oh, when you say it with the ER, we're just saying you're ignorant or dumb. So if you're acting ignorant or dumb, you're acting like a... No, like, and that's what he's trying to do. Well, they called me that. They called me. It doesn't matter. You're still white. And they did not call you that, bro. They didn't. You said they called John that. Make up your mind. What's your story? Bro, all you had to do was say they called him a... The N-word. Everybody That's all you had to say. Just say the N-word. Saying. That's why I'm like, who writing this shit? Or, 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 bro, you might, are you drunk? My thing is, would you say that at work in front of your boss? No. Mm. So stop acting like you don't know how to say that shit. Like, stop acting like you have, cri- like I said, crippling N-word syndrome. Like, stop acting like you just, oh, it's it's politically correct. It's it's just proper grammar. I just had to say it in the sentence. Like, you what? You know better. You know Too better. Too fucking old. You know better, bro. Tell me, well, he said it to both of us. Shut up. You know know better, bro. You know better. But you don't say it. They called him that, but I mean that. But I just think that you shouldn't say it. They called him that. I'm I'm saying that you can say he was called the the N-word. They called him that. They called called me that when they called him that. They were calling they what? call you that? I, bro, I, bro, you're a lot. So I, he's basically saying they inadvertently. So you have ownership over your black friend. That sounds better. Nah, I think what? he said that they called him Nah, he nigga. said when they called him that, they called me that. Here, I'll show you. He said oh. when they called him that, they called me that. Trying to make it seem like that's my brother. But it's like, bro, nah, brother? you. That's ownership, <laughs> that's bro. Like, that's weird. <laughs> Right. He said they called me that when they called him that. When no, that's not how that fucking works. You're a white man. No one will ever call you that. Ever. What is with that? They, they had to make that music in there somehow. You don't what I'm saying. She just said, why did you have to say nigga to get that point across right. just now? If you were really truly an ally, I remember saying that on that video that we got all that flag for. If you're really an ally, why even do that shit, bro? Mm-hmm. It's, that shit's pointless, Why bro. do you want to say that? If you really want uh, validation from certain groups of people, why even go there? But, uh, damn. No, seriously. No, you have it. You don't understand what I'm saying to you that the words did not come out so white ass now. They mm. him that. And then, you so, know what's crazy? She didn't even, she said nigga, bro. She didn't say the other, like, so, huh, it's, it, this it's is the just same getting on my word. fucking nerves, it and is. I hate when he, cause he even. Mm, this is irritating. I would, I would have had to go home. What did she say? Why does bro look like he fucking nodded off over? There? Look at his ass. What do you mean? Looks, so what? What does she mean by that? It's worse. So what? Whoa, hold on. So hmm. what? What happened? Um, what is going on? What? Who wrote this? She said, I'm leaving. Oh, so you got two for the price of one. Y'all are fucked, bro. Why would you do that to yourself? MTV. Bruh. MTV. Again, you see how Tammy didn't even say it? And she just said, nigga, like, that's how you know, like, bro. Why are you, what is wrong with y'all? You're on television. Are you kidding me? I hope she got This is really how you, this. no, seriously, does she get any compensation? Okay, like, extra, that's another thing, because what? if this was basketball-wise, bitches would have been smacked got beat in the up, fuck, Right, like, are uh, you kidding me? 
Think about that for a second. If this was motherfucking real basketball no, because wise, look, of Tahoma, don't get it twisted or whatever the fuck that shit is. Don't get it twisted, bro. I'm pretty sure that she has been called a variation of the N word with the E R before, but that's not the what you're reclaiming. That's how I know that that's not even it shouldn't even be in your. Who is that? Uh, I don't. She's an Indian girl, but it's like. This ain't it, bro. This is not it. Bruh. She said the ER. She didn't say, bro, you don't know what it's like to be a nigga. She said, you don't know what it's like. Oh. No idea what it is to be a He looks so, this is me. I'm a, <laughs> bro, honestly, this, I, hey, this is going to be another one of those clips, though. That's going to be another one of those fucking clips. Just like that. Hold on, you got to put it back on the screen, baby. I, no, it... I was just getting it ready, bro. It's already about to be. Straight up. You got no idea. No, for real, girl. Because, honest, you are not. But I feel like they were coming from the same place of like, oh, I was just standing up for my black friend. Because she's doing exactly what bro did. Yep. But the only difference is instead of John at the pizza shop, She's doing it to this motherfucker exactly. on the real world. Or and it's like she doesn't get it either. It's niggaception, y'all. They are No, because I told you, I said this on another uh, bad, podcast before. What? I had no clue about that slur, um, the sand and word. I That's had, not even for her. But, but I'm just saying, I know that people be using the N word towards Indian no, people. They don't. But in the same token, in India, there is colorism. She would not be on that end of the spectrum. You get what I'm saying? Right. You know, shit. We live, we live in Jacksonville. We have a very big Indian population. And I have you never, know the ever, Indians ever, that ever, get ever. called the N word, bruh, and they don't look like her. Yeah, true. She's probably been called it, maybe in America, maybe one. Like you know, I'm not gonna judge her experience as a person of color, but you're not a black person. I'm sorry. Like you should not be saying that word, bruh. And the fact that you went straight to the ER, that's weird to me. Like, why? You're right. It's like, bro, you trying to have your own John at the pizza shop moment. It's the same shit. It literally is. Bro, why did you even do that? You should have just. Bro. (laughs) Not to even say that. She looked like Leonard Washington. She looked like Leonard Washington. (laughs) Hey. Yo. Hey. I'm working. <laughs> Did you do your homework? All right, go wash your ass so you can go watch Martin Lawrence. Then wash. Yo. Hey, she hey, is hey, hey. not playing with that ass. Use your inside voice for your ass you put outside. <laughs> Linda Washington. You are a mess. Oh my gosh, right? She. Mm. That's no, bro. There's so many <laughs> iconic <laughs> moments in this clip. Look at him. There's so many. You got the. You do She's not laughing, know bro. what it is to be laughing. a nigga, and then you got the. Oh, I, I'm done. I, oh, I'm, I'm, done. Done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. You don't say a nigga. You, you ain't don't black. say it either, bitch. You ain't black. The fuck Just is one more time for the books. Back. This is one of my favorite clips. I'm gonna Me watch too, this every honestly. day. I'm not gonna Front lie. to back. Yeah. Mm. Oh, she Latina. Oh, she ain't even Indian. See, nah, she racially see, nah, ambiguous. That's why I say you got she a Latina. Oh, she, bro, oh, you Lord. white as fuck, bro. What are you doing, bro? Oh, Lord. Not necessarily. Bro. Oh, well, she, she, she white. She, are you an Afro Latina? No, it's, she's. Look at her hair, bro. <laughs> Emphasis, bruh, up, anybody bro. out there, bruh, emphasis on Afro, Latina. If you not have an Afro, you're not an Now, Afro, I ain't gonna lie, though. Where I come from, the Mexican homies be dropping that shit sometimes, bro. Yeah, they do. They definitely do. They but that's shit. another thing. When you talk about people, where's Tammy from the A, right? Yeah. Or Cali. I think she might be from Cali, even. I don't know. But I don't know, bro. Sometimes you be down in the South. That shit start hitting different. That shit really do. I don't know if that's her story, but she doesn't. She's a you she ain't a going Latina. For that shit. 
But you know, a lot of times with the older generations, though, because mm-hmm. I hate to bring her age into this, older generations was never going for that shit. It's us. We are the ones that made it like, ah, fuck that shit. I don't really no, care yeah. like that. No, you're right. Where it's like, you just let shit slide and all that stuff. Type like, shit. Yeah, I've definitely peeped that the older generations did not play that shit at all. No, they don't. They really don't. Now, I mean... Can I say this? And you can check me if you feel like I'm generalizing. I bro. What the fuck? I feel like... Actually, I am. I'm Leonard Washington. I feel like the majority of the people giving those slides are guys within the community. Like, I feel like women, we are uh, notorious for um, spotting out bullshit and telling people about they bullshit. Guys are pretty passive about, like, you know, nitty-gritty areas, meat and potato areas. And I've noticed a lot of the people, i.e. look at our DMs of people going off on my ass, is usually like because dudes with men, that allow certain racial boundaries, um, appreciation versus appropriation type of deal to get watered down like and blurred and shit. Because I've noticed it's usually guys that be like, oh, she fine, so I'm going to let it slide. She she a snow bunny, I'm going to let it slide. She a spicy Latina, I'm going to let it slide. She Filipino, I'm going to let it slide. Like, check me if I'm wrong, but that's just, I don't know. So the first part, what I thought I was taking from that was the fact that it's like, okay, if there's a man-to-man interaction, niggas are less likely to be hostile. Yes. Um, and a lot of that is just some machismo shit. Like, if it's a dude talking to a dude, sometimes, or even a nigga talking to a female on behalf of a dude, that shit can go either way. But it's all about how much pride is in the eyes of the recipient of the hostility. Okay, okay. I'm going to dial it back a bit. So, we're talking about how people of color feel so much ease saying the n-word uh replicating black culture and certain things like that and how we said the newer generation usually gives a pass whereas the og generation was like nah i'm being cutthroat Mm -hmm. and what i was saying is i feel like the main culprits of that just flat out gonna say it and it's just gonna be blunt and it's probably gonna turn you off but i feel like a lot of black men give women of other races a lot of we leeway to um go over their boundaries and be disrespectful to them, sometimes their children, in like a racist and harmful way. And that's all I was saying. Like you, I was like, bro, you could check me if you feel like I'm generalizing too much. Mm-hmm. But I feel like that's like the main culprit. No. Because women in general are very analytical. They will call you out on your shit. Sure. And that's why, you. I, that's all I'm saying. Two that's things. what I was trying to say. Pop culture is one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to come back to the pop culture. I'm going to give you number two before I do the, the pop culture. But the second thing is just we're desensitized as fuck. Yes. Our parents and our parents. We saw a parents, lot in our generation they, for sure. Now it's a little bit dialed back because, yeah, now it's, niggas are on iPhone getting shot now. It's a little different. But we're desensitized from when that wasn't happening. But the, the generation that don't play, they were seeing dogs and fire hoses on their moms and shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't. Why would they play about that shit? We're a little bit far past that. We've had too many distractions. But now, after certain instances, we give a fuck again. Now, reeling it back to that second thing before is the pop culture too. You're like back to the future. But my white girl said, "Nigga, please." Yeah. It, it, enough said, bro. That's why I said I'll come back to that. It's a little bit less to reiterate on, but pop culture niggas gonna follow that shit and not being sensitized to a problem, you're not going to be able to identify and deal with it very accurately when it's presented to you, bro. Or even see that as a problem at all. Yeah, I mean, me personally, obviously, being a byproduct of it, I do not have any prejudice towards interracial relationships or anything like that. Yeah, that's just weird. Um, But I do feel like there is a certain respect factor when it comes to race. Like, for example, if you are an Asian person and you had a significant other 
who was maybe okay like a white person Mm -hmm. um and they would constantly pull at their eyes or make ching chong jokes and like do like little shit like that like that would get to you right but all i'm saying is i've just noticed a pattern of like when it comes to uh watermelon jokes and fucking uh porch monkey jokes and saying the most risque slur you could say i've just noticed a pattern of shoot we even used to have a roommate like this that would just be okay with somebody degrading them for their race for attention and it just gets normalized and then you know who that person always is Oh, my, well, my black friend's cool yeah, with it. Yeah, for sure. Like, my black friend's cool with it, you know? Like, I don't know. And I bet you somebody in the comments of this video is going to be like, y'all always make it about race. And this whole video is about race. But when we make it not about the real world, nah, MTV, nigga, the we bring it real life. The made right. it about race for us, nigga. Our whole existence. It, right, we live in the United factor. States, bro. It is what it is, be flying man. flags that represent enslavement of our people and then acting like it's just... Oh well, you can't rechange it. statues of the the down south equivalents of your SS troops statues, Hitler yeah. statues, still over this bitch. Oh, it's history. Don't take it down. So it's like you wouldn't have you wouldn't have a, a rape victim look at their fucking uh person that violated them every day and think that's okay, would you? Right. But niggas have to look at. Sh- Statues and and Gr- books and gratuitous reminders. And, Let's say and, that because some things need, need to be seen. And some buildings and all that some horrors stuff. need to be seen as to not repeat them. But it, we don't need the fucking gratuitousness. We really right. don't, bro. But fuck it, bro. If you Should have be- that take, I don't give a fuck how you feel. Honestly, dog. If you think I that. say kudos to Tammy. Who wrote this? She shit? handled that very well. If that was not scripted, she handled that shit very well. Um, dude on the couch, I was surprised because maybe he just chilled out over the years because in the OG episodes, he was pretty feisty. He was very opinionated, very feisty. I think he was like a foster kid or something. Just very like Yeah, homeless. Like very um needing for the attention of the house and just like very vocal. Here he seems real laid back, like shit. Go ahead, dig your grave. Uh, they let me on Spicy the show. Latina, dig your grave, girl. I just don't see why she thought she could do that. Right? But I guess she really good, thought probably. she ate. She nah, did. she ain't from shit. Where's that? That accent confused the fuck out of me. I really thought she was Indian. Thought you ate. Take that fucking plate. Give me that plate and ate her, bitch. Give me that motherfucking blade later. No, but for real, like, I think I might tune into this show now. I... Hold on, there's more. There's more. If you a real one, you made it this far. If you a real one, you made it this far. Hold on, there's more. My dog with the cowboy hat. I knew he was coming. Like, man, now you know. That's oh not okay. Oh my god, this is not okay. We don't do that in Tennessee. We do not do that. <laughs> I live in the south, y'all. I live in Alabama. Oh, that's what it was. You're a dumbass. Colored? <gasps> Color? With a U. Color? With a U. Color? He's drunk. He's who, drunk. Who wrote this? He's drunk. Look at them eyes. Oh no, my god. Like notorious. No one in my family has ever caught me colored. Thank God. Like that'd be fucking awkward. Maybe it's because they're kind of colored too. Yeah, they're people of color, but they're still technically white. Like, I mean, they've never called me colored. I have people in my family that are white that have never. Uh, Ever. Yeah. Oh my God. Poor Jaden. Oh, oh my Lord. Who's in my house right now? You know, I'm black colored. And then you sound like Robert E. Lee. You know who's in my house right now? Young black colored people. It's like, what? Young black colored people that <laughs> I preached What? I live in the South, y'all. I live in Alabama. She hitting the fuck out that cigarette. Young black colored people that I minister to and I'm a father. You see them eyes? Them eyes just got big You're a as fuck. father. Y'all owe three. You're a father. Three You're a daddy. Out. Three strikes your Oh, out. my Lord. Three strikes your ass. Look at them eyes. Oh, you're a father figure too, so you fucking they mama. So they mama 
fucks black people. Not you called your stepkids colored. Right. Right. <laughs> but you just did repeat. You a fucking liar. You already lying. Talking about you would never repeat. You did repeat and then added some spice on it. No, that wasn't. Because I know them kids and calling he, themselves the N word with the E R. He didn't say that. That was other cuz with the Havana Joe hat. That's cowboy cuz. He calling people. Oh, this color. is that. No, he just I got thought Latina. that was this. Nah, that she called them a nigga. And then you got Havana Joe. Wait, just right. Oh, yeah, you're right. So that was another. Oh, my God. This is awful. You got the Betty White hat. This is awful. Rest in peace, Betty White. Oh, my God. Damn. She would have never went for this. That's probably why she died. She probably heard this shit and was like, man, I'm out of here. This is a disgrace. No more lockdowns. Fuck, man. Right. He thought he ate. Talking about they called themselves words I don't repeat, but you just did. Right. Uh, bless their soul. Bless Who their soul. That? I will be watching this show now. Adds yeah, to actually, list. I'll probably Adds to watch too. list. <laughs> if it doesn't get canceled out. Right. Because at this point, y'all should chill for Tammy. Poor Tammy. Tammy. No, for real. They really just lawsuit. disrespected her for what? And it's like, oh, girl, really tried to stand up for her and her weird ass. She's the goat. Savior. She's the goat. Oh, yeah. She no, this lady, yeah. She just shut the up. fuck up and she was just watching say the whole goddamn time. goddamn word. Like, Kudos what the hell is you. wrong with y'all? She just looking at you like, not me. Yeah, not, not I. Here. Not like this. Not I. We will be. Truck, and the truck is seen driving away. Police say 14-year-old Ava LaCosta shot four people at a taco stand inside the Texaco, killing Why? three of them. And police say Abel's dad was in on it. So the fact that he drove away quickly, he knew. And it's the reason why he's also being charged with capital murder. According to police, well, Abel had a disagreement with two mm-hmm. victims, 16-year-old Ivan Noyola and 17-year-old Rafael Garcia. And all you killed were kids? You're definitely. Garcia. But a 15-year-old cook who was shot and 14-year-old Xavier Gonzalez were innocent bystanders.